Okay, now we've got our servo aligned and ready to go. How are we going to control it? Well, one option is to use these controllers here, these fascia controllers designed for the quad. They also work with my new Octopus 2. These are momentary controllers, so I want to put on this switch MTR here, means momentary. So you put that jumper on, cross those two pins like that, and now it's set for momentary controls. So I can plug this in. I want to plug this in the same number zero as my switch, and now you can see I press this button, it moves the switch like that. Okay, I also have the bicolor option, red, green, bicolor LEDs. You can put that in, plug that one into position zero. Okay, now you can see both LEDs stay lit, swaps red and green. Um, a nice thing you can do is you can get one of these Y servo connectors here. So this has one input, goes to two outputs. So let me connect up both of my Controllers. Now I've got both controllers connected to one Y. Connect that to the board. Okay. Now we can have two controllers at different spots. Pressing either one moves the switch and uh, changes either control. So we could have one on one side of our say module and one on the other side of the module. Now what if I want to use toggle switches? So I've got a toggle switch here to solder two wires together. We can get one of these shells and what we want to do is put these two wires into the shell on either end. We're going to skip the middle position. And then we can plug that toggle switch in like that. Uh, now we need to take off the momentary jumper that we put on because this is not a momentary switch. Now moving the toggle one side to the other Use the switch. Nice thing about using toggles is you can use these other connectors over here to change the power to your frog.